Our team is super excited, and I must say, during those seven years, this team has the most energy. <laughs> Summer condition is actually easier to, to run it with, uh, with normal gas. Uh, and if you're on high altitude, you will use gas as well. But then it is basically the, the cold condition. If you're out on a travel, it's not always you can get to uh, gas, you know, get to buy it. This one you can go to the gas station and buy diesel or, or normal gasoline. So you can, it's much easier to get. just got our gear and yeah, oh my God. <laughs> I'm a bit overwhelmed and yeah, I don't know too. what to do with myself but I think we need to have dinner so we have 40 minutes to try things on yeah. and see if we don't fit anything yeah. and re like switch Change. it off yeah. but this amount of gear is oh. overwhelming <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so I'm going to film everything that I put on me, that they provided. It doesn't mean that I will wear everything <laughs> because <laughs> there's too much stuff, but so. Underpants, long underpants. They gave us a sports bra. And then this layer, so let's, uh, <laughs> let's do it. I am boiling. If you are looking this and wondering that this is Christmas times thousand, uh, then yes, it feels quite surreal to, to get this amount of uh, stuff. It is, uh, yeah, so overwhelming that I guess I'm not processing it <laughs> very well right now. Everything that we get today, we can keep, and everything that we get tomorrow and the days after, like the tent, the sleeping bag, some big gloves, uh, this is for borrowing and we have to give back. Uh, and th that is totally understandable. I couldn't imagine like <laughs> buying these like super, super, super soft, soft, warm sleeping bags for everybody every year. That, yeah. But gloves fit good. Uh, I think that's all. The socks fit also. So, just the inside tip Siri was talking to one of the previous participants and it's really great like uh, tip to mark our gear because everybody has the same things yeah. and uh, it's probable if we like mix things up in the tent or wherever so fortunately Siri bought, <laughs> brought a marker so I we can mark things that's really smart thank you yeah. For being smart. <laughs> I will keep my stuff away from you, otherwise we will mix it. Yeah. <laughs> the gear excitement has worn off a bit and it has been replaced with worry. <laughs> How in the hell am I going to use all of it and not lose any mm. of it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. 
Yeah, and oh. my gear is here. Look at that. So this is everything we got today. A bunch of clothes, bunch of stuff. Yeah, so much stuff. So it is um, 20 minutes until midnight and we just now have finished packing our stuff. Yeah, it's getting really late and we have a wake up call at 4.30 tomorrow morning. So it will be a really short night. Basically we just stuffed everything there uh, and we are hoping to reorganize tomorrow because yeah, that's, that's not well packed. <laughs> Uh, we had a really early morning th today also, so we will be sleep deprived and it is starting with today, really exciting day. I guess we are all <laughs> tired from the adrenaline rush also, I guess. <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow will be our first steps in the snow with our care, testing it out before heading out with the dog, so yeah, see you then. See you then. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We are having our morning coffee and some takeaway sandwiches. It is like 5:15 or something. Quite early. We are straight going to the airport where we will fly to Oslo and then to Tromsø. So. So we have completed our first flight to Oslo and now we are waiting our plane to go to Tromsø and a lot of people are wearing their new blue jackets of course I was stupid enough not to wear it I put it in my check -in, checked in luggage but I was so inspired by all of these blue jackets I think, I think we really stand out from the crowd so I made a little painting and I'm, I, I think it's a really nice memorabilia not only the like adventurous parts are part of the trip, but like the simple moments in the airplanes are also part of adventure. So yeah, that's what I want to remember, like everything from this trip. So we arrived safely to Tromsø, but we have one issue. My tent mate Siri doesn't have her bag, so it didn't came on the plane. And uh, we are quite worried because we have all of her stuff in the bag and without the gear, it's bad. To the airport. Awesome. Happy ending, I think. Ah, <laughs> no, no. Uh, let's hope. Yeah. <laughs> we are starting our um, training session with our gear and stuff and tents. Really excited how our tent will look like. Yeah. I really want to know. Yeah. We are so ready. <laughs> yeah. So we are now putting up our very first tent. So the first step is to step on the snow, make it firm and it's good to have two people that we can like double work. So we have now 
pitched our very first tent. It's quite hard work. Oh, and I'm hot. Servus. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> Look at that camera filming camera. <laughs> the cameraman. It's taking a long time to set up a tent in winter time. Whew. Check out, that's our tent now. That will be our home. So we are just making the hot water now. I think so. No one really knows or seems to know what's going on. So we got uh, leather gloves and I only now realized, no, actually I didn't realize. Yuli told us that the packets are like a leather ball so it makes the leather more water repellent and now as I have been wearing one pair of leather gloves during these few hours we have been out there and they got really wet and cold so I'm using the ball to try to make them more water repellent and it's actually quite satisfying look at that Mm. Yeah, I hope to do this with my other pair as well because it got really cold when they got wet. And we are doing the boiling water again just to test out if our skills are still here or yeah, <laughs> if our skills have improved. And actually, yeah, this time it was much quicker, but I am a bit scared. Not scared, but maybe anxious because we have to do everything tomorrow in possibly some kind of snowstorm or really cold weather and yeah now it's sinking in that we this is not a fun trip this is like expedition <laughs> and series yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm just nodding. Uh, yeah, nodding, yeah. agreeing. Yeah. And I'm waiting for my water to boil. But I I think I mean, mine is boiling. Yeah. So. so this is gonna be your friend for the next the next days. Yeah. This is the sled. You stand here on these runners. And the most important thing is hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it tips on the side, you just hold on. I'm gonna be in front helping you if you need any help, so don't worry. But just try to hold on. And if you lose it one time, I will catch it. But do your, do your best. <laughs> and these are the brakes. Yeah. This is the big brake, yeah. if you really have to brake. And you can have one or two feet on it. And depending on your weight, you know, you might yeah. have to use one or two feet. And this is the speed controller brake. Yeah. And that's the same, you use a little bit of weight or a lot of weight yeah. on it. Yeah. So when do we brake? We brake in all the downhills. Yeah. And I know it's fun to go very fast, but it's not very fun for the dogs if you're not braking behind them because it can be very scary. Yeah. So use the brakes. And you also brake so you don't pass the team in front of you. We're not racing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So stay behind each other. And I would like the dogs to be uh, the your two first dogs. That's your lead dogs. I would like them to be a couple of meters behind the team in front. Two three meters. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. So it is our first night in the tent. It promises minus 20 degrees Celsius, so that will be interesting. Uh, Siri is inside of the house uh, in the hut and still waiting for her bag. But the good news is the air, airline company located her bag and it is on her way. But it's uh, past 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. So it's getting really late and she still has to repack her things organize a bit so yeah but at least her bag is coming what i am struggling with right now is how in what order do i take my clothes off and then crawl into the sleeping bag because i have so many clothes to take off and it's getting cold so yeah uh, for tomorrow i'm i'm a bit worried uh, because there will be a lot of uh, responsibility on us on breaking the camp and 
uh, taking care of the dogs. We will have six dogs in our our own team. That's still a bit unreal for me, but so it is. <laughs> but most of all, I'm just excited to go out there. I'm so tired of being inside of buildings and uh, cities and airports. So uh, today we already saw some mountains and white fields and that is really exciting.